He was President Trump's third national security advisor and a controversial choice from the start, from urging government changes in Iran and Venezuela to scuttling a deal with the DPRK. John Bolton's foreign policy views always seem to be at odds with Trump, and now he's gone. Fired abruptly by tweet, Trump in part wrote, I asked John for his resignation, which was given to me this morning. I thank John very much for his service, and we'll be naming a new national security advisor next week. Bolton actually tweeted back, challenging Trump, saying he had tendered his resignation first. I offered to resign last night, he tweeted, and President Trump said, let's talk about it tomorrow. Known in Tehran as the Mustache and dubbed a warmonger by Pyongyang, Bolton was a crusader for an American first foreign policy, often tearing up arms agreements and diplomatic norms, which were the hallmarks of his career. But differences over negotiations with the Taliban and Bolton's opposition to a rapprochement with Russia put him at odds with a president who follows his instincts on foreign policy and, as Trump loyalists say, keeps his friends close but his enemies closer. Following Bolton's firing slash resignation, the U.S. Secretary of State pointedly reiterated Trump's desire to meet with Iranian leaders, perhaps at the United Nations, later this month. The president's made very clear he is prepared to meet with no preconditions. Iranian officials have already reacted, saying that Bolton's departure is proof that the campaign of maximum pressure and military threats isn't working. Isn't working is a phrase that could be applied to other areas of foreign policy under this administration, too. The question is, will Bolton's departure lead to a change in policy or just a change in tone? Nathan King, CGTN at the White House.